Okay, I'll just show you what I've um, added to here. I've only put this um, napkin on here to blend in with that because, you know, as you can see it, and I think that's working. Um, I've put one of these in that, oh, I've got to put that one in as well, that I've just done a video on that, okay, with the, the waste of the tissues stamped and then put under acetate with beeswax on. So you haven't got that sort of feeling. And um, while I'd done those two, just after the video, I was looking for things to go in here out of my art stuff. This was, actually, I think, this is where I, um, sorry, take out the, it's the relief one of the, you know, die cuts. And these are done with collage sheets. Yeah, and then I cut them out. And so I had that one and, oh, I had this one as well. That's right. Sorry. There. But I think that's going to go in my other journal. So I had that one as well. So I just put, just drew around there, which I thought I would just show you. And I think that just emphasised that without inking. So I will do that to that. And I'm going to sort of do this up a bit because I actually want that to be there because I don't think it looks right with that gap there. So that has to go there. So that means this has got to go. Yeah, um, I was going to put a bit of gold on here, but I'm thinking if you actually did, um, you know, want photos or write, that you could still write on that bit. So I might actually leave that for a little bit of blank sort of space, if you know what I mean. Or, you know, if you wasn't doing it and you want to decorate it a bit more, you could. But all I do with this, this is just, a, oh, I have no idea what this pen is, but it's quite nice. I don't even know whether it um, it runs. I haven't ch checked it, but then there's no, um, what do you call it? Water going on the top of this now, so. And I just go around there. Like that. You could do your face stitching like that as well. Oops. I'm a bit big there. Actually, it's really funny because on these um, die cuts, I've got a little little lip, which is handy to follow. It's like the indent of the actual die. It sort of makes a bit of a line there, but it's only just visible. So again, this just adds a bit to it. We didn't want to ink up. And I think the black outline looks good. I don't think I could um, stitch around that myself. Okay. And all I've done there was, that's one of the Tim Holtz stamps that I've embossed. A little, little leaf from it. That's a bit of this paper. Actually, this is from the original um, art journal I done, the autumn one. So that is going to go there. And then you've got that's um, the page where we had those two techniques. Yeah, that well, same technique, but I've just used it behind a relief one instead. And I didn't want to stick that in because it's really nice when you pick it up because you can see right through it. I don't know whether you can there, but you can. So I sort of wanted to leave it as is, if you know what I mean. Right, so that means we have to do a little bit of work on there. Oh, I found a nice place for this in my other journal. <laughs> I'll show you that while I'm here. It's this one. I've <laughs> done that ages ago, didn't I? I started it ages ago. Yeah, so I'm going to put one of those in as well. And I did, I think, I thought it looked nice there. So they are going to go there. And that's that one. Gosh, I want to finish that too because I really like it. I'm doing 101 things at the minute, but I like it that way and I'm motivated at the moment. So when I'm motivated like that, I've just got to carry on. Because, you know, you, you, there's certain things happen in your life and you just sort of like, oh, yeah, now I don't feel like crafting much or 
it happens to us all, I'm afraid. But I've been all right lately. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's for that one. So it's for the other journal. Um, yeah, because it was all, you know, I was worried about my son and because he was quite poorly, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, he still is. But we're sort of managing our time a bit better and, you know, now the better weather's come in, he's getting out a bit. And I think that is helping. So. I sort of want it a bit dry for this, really. So. I'm not picking up very much. I'd rather build it up. So what I've done, you see, what I do, what I do, is um, I just sort of paint away from it so that it fades out a bit. Yeah, and then I'll sort of come down and then this will be my thickest part where I'm covering that over. And then I've got things falling everywhere today. <laughs> I'm just sort of dab off that a bit I think don't let me dry that with that in it'll melt <laughs> and of course I could take this out if I wanted to nothing there that the melt okay that, I think we're all right and then just do a little bit of stamping or something or a bit of inking around that corner and you'll find or to track the eye away from that little tree <laughs> it's actually quite nice but i just thought no i don't i don't like it i've got to cover it up <laughs> okay and a little bit of stamping oh i've got a text stamp here so that'll be all right i'll use that and i use the vintage photo i think Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm on a few splatters on there of paint. Just got my little fanny brush. Fanny brush. <laughs> Fun brush. <laughs> right, I've stopped laughing now. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need a little bit of plastic. I'll do. Just a bit of acetate here. So I spray the acetate. And then I put a bit of water in. So there's a dilute it a bit. I mean, this will soak in, but it will give some little bit of splatter. Right, and I've got quite a bit left. So I need to use that. So you've got to remind me, <laughs> this is not a fan brush because that is, right, it's, it's I'm going to call it a splatter brush. I call it a fan brush because it does look like a fan, <laughs> but I don't want to get that wrong again. <laughs> Okay, that's that. All right, and as you know, let's 
further look see what we've got here i've got some envelopes so some bit oh there's a nice bit of paper there paint that on Most probably all over my face as well. <laughs> okay, so that starts building out the pages by the side of me, yeah? <laughs> oh, look, I found this in my art journal thing. Oh, isn't that lovely? I've got to use that, haven't I? <laughs> right. Okay. Trust me to find a piece of acetate with a hole in it. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be one of them days. <laughs> right. Okay. That's all gone and that's great. So I shall now put this in. Okay. This is all going to be skew with until it's sewn in. <laughs> Goes about there. Now, I find a bit of sari silk to look, look at the colours. Just a brilliant. Yep. Yeah. Something totally different. Okay. Right. So that's it. And then we go on to the next one. Oh, the tag. Okay, that's fine. Right, um, yes, what I've done here is I, I like this straw paper that had a bit of um, brayer and off on. And I like that. So I'm going to do, um, that is going to be here. I found this as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. I show you something, okay? What I've got. Yeah, that's the pile. I don't think you can even. Here we go. I've got all bits from my art projects and different things that I've done. Oh, that was that shaving foam thing, and then you scrape it off. Love that. Love doing that. That was years ago. Gosh. Yeah, so I've got loads of bits in here. Yeah, I've got that. I don't know what that's doing in there, but goes with something. And then some collage pages. I've got my tea, some tea bag paper here. That's, I've done a video on that. That's just some gessoed paper. Oh, I've just printed on that. Stamped. Just put some bees stuff. <laughs> Yeah, there's just loads um, from my gel prints. So, yeah, been to doing this for a while. So, I've got, lo oh, got loads of other ones. This is just the ones that I say, oh, I don't know, that need work on or need me to, you know, need to do something else. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, it's pretty nice looking, isn't it? I don't know why that's there, but it's must be in my junk pile. Yeah, so it's when I've done greens and then browns, purple yuck, <laughs> more bees. But when they're cut down, they look, I like that one actually. I really do like that. And when they're cut down, they look totally different. I mean, a bit of cardboard with black paint. Yeah, that's what you can remember you doing those. Leaves. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah, so, yes, I have a lot. Look at that grunginess. Yes, mop-up sheets. Uh, I don't know why that's there, but it is. This print, I expect. Planes. Yeah, so, as you can see, I've got a lot. So, I don't really need to do any more. These are quite nice. I thought I would keep those for my mermaid journal when I get round to doing one. And this here, 
I thought would look quite good as something mermaidy. It's got that netty stuff on it. Yeah, so I think, and then all these, all the grungy bits here, some more collage sheets, a backdrop, um, collage sheet there, there, there. As you know, I cut them up and do die cuts with them, the ones I don't particularly like. I quite like that one though. And some ink tap backdrops. Yeah, so yes. As you can see, got rather a lot. So when you see bits and pieces that I bring out, it's usually from that pile. And it, that takes a while to accumulate things like that, but not with a, a gel plate, of course. You can do that loads and loads you won't like, but you can like, you know, you just add to it. Um, that's a bit from, from in there. So yeah, that's the sort of thing that, I go to so I sort of had a little look this morning I picked out a few bits that I thought were, was quite nice so I've just started that new little pile now haven't I with some paint on it and everything so I'll be picking up bits with that all the time some music paper there but, but yeah this is a, I've, oh I put that I just die cut some of these because I've been wanting to use this for ages and I haven't got around to it so I thought right I'm gonna die cut some that's me circles <laughs> well this was when I die cut some other uh, Tim Holtz flowers I tried to die cut plastic but it didn't work but the piece of card that I used <laughs> to give more pressure is actually really good so I thought that sort of sprayed and something might create something fascinating we shall see yes yeah, so i'll put that in there because i think that's a bit thin for a page but i will make like a bag or something like that out of it if you know what i mean something something and i like these two bits of card some more watercolor and i thought that could make something nice with a bit of acetate behind it that's um uh, that was gel print uh, sticker sheet gel printed and then stamped over the top and then you know you've got all your little stickers it's quite good if you do that in circles as well I used to do that i love this this is just i love it and that's one of the brayer off you know where you brayer off and look at this together it's lovely I've got another one there. So, yeah. I like that. All together. I think I'm going to have to um, scan this because it's just, I think I could make something really nice out of it. <laughs> you know, for the, for the arty downloads, if you know what I mean. Not, um, not for my... Uh, Etsy shop just for a freebie or something yeah and that's put a die cut some things out of that yeah so that's only what I've collected so far I'm going to put my circles in and I'm going to put that in because I want to use them and I'll leave these on the top because I grab them if you know what I mean if I've got any paint or anything lying around right okay so that's an insight into what's happening with that so yeah that's all done now and we go to this one okay right so i think yeah my idea here this is a bit that thin straw paper yeah and i've just die cut that with one of the tim holtz leaves i shall go and get it so you know which one which is that one there Yeah, and it's got the inside and the outside, so you don't have to use that. So you can, it's actually a relief, you know, which is great for this sort of thing. So, quite like that. Oh, I didn't say the number, did I? It's 664970. Okay. There's a newer one. There's a couple of those out, actually. I, I like the other one with, the, with this shape leaf i think and it's got sort of lines going across There's, that's what i thought i had but it was this one 
and I like it because you, you've got the outside that you don't have to use. So brilliant. So if you wanted to put that into a you know, middle of a page, you can. So yeah, and this I think that this needs to be double if you know what I mean because it's a bit thin. So I am going to stick that billum in. Oh, and I found that as well. I've cut from something. <laughs> right, let's... What I'm going to do is just trim that bottom off a little bit. Okay. And then and get my vellum in. Right, need something, a bit of acetate, not the one with the hole in. I'm going to chuck that one away. No, I won't. I'll put it there. <laughs> okay. There we go. I just um, took a picture of it and then printed it out, emailed it to myself because I've um, I haven't got no editing software on this computer in the studio. It's just for storing my files on. I just emailed it to myself and when I printed it, oh, God, the pictures on the iPhone are really big, so it's nineteen percent. I don't know which that one. I think I would say that is in copyright uh, that's Punchinella, so that's fine and there's maybe a little there's a bit of a stencil here but i i don't think that would that would be fine because you can't really see the design so it can't be extracted for anybody to to copy so i think we're all right some people allow you to use their stencil stencils and um you know sell you what you make from it if you know what i mean um, if they're in a digital format and some don't so you really do have to check that as well but there's no stamping on here there's no there's nothing you know it's just paint so that's fine that's why it's quite good if you make your own stencils really then you're covered it's like here but if i took this in and wanted to do something with it then i would edit that and make it not look like that <laughs> and I'd also take some of the lines out and do things like that with it. So I do alter it. But that's just straight in, photograph and straight printed out. So I did, um, when I take it on my phone, I do edit it on my phone and I just lighten automatic. Yeah, because you'll find that if the lighting's not bright enough, you know, it could be a bit dingy, the photograph. So that just lightens everything up. But in the journal, I'm using the original, but I'm happy now I've, <laughs> I've done that. And I will only use a bit of a strip on that bit there. And then look at that for boho. The colours are amazing. I think... So if I cut that down the middle there, and go from there, I think. Oh, that's that way, isn't it? And that's going to be that way. So, or shall we use something a bit brighter? I think we will. <laughs> Let's. Right.
Okay, there we are. All right, and that's going to be our pocket. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to stitch along there. And I'm also going to stitch that side. Okay, because this is the other side of the journal. And then I'm going to um, use my pen and go around here to emphasize those and then have another look at it. But that's what I'm just going to go ahead and do for a minute. Okay. There we go, so I stitch around that like that one, yep, okay, and this one I've left, you know, like that and just drawn around the outside to emphasise those so you can see them. I'm not going to do anything else to that for a minute because we might make something in a later date that will go in there because this that is the way I'll, I'll do some pages like this and then i'll work through and then we'll be making stuff and i will promise i'll show as much as i can okay and as you know things like this are time consuming and i have got you know other things to do <laughs> but this is my sort of playtime, and i love it and but i've got other videos to do and then i must you know work a little bit with my digitals really because that's my bread and butter or my livelihood so but i like to just have a bit of a balance i mean there's no way that's going to go there but that's that done so we're gonna i'm gonna work on here okay i don't know why did i put that there i just found it i think so that well, i'll move this <laughs> i'll just keep moving it until it finds place <laughs> okay so here, um, here, <laughs> I might, uh, I might put a bit of washi tape down there <laughs> and then make something to go in here. <laughs> That's uh, really interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I was like, oh, what do I do now then? <laughs> it's quite nice it's grey and it's got that colour in it so So this washi tape, um, the range is it? I got this, I think. Yeah, craft sensation. That's a range, isn't it? Yeah, I got that a while ago. So whether they still they do, it's quite reasonable. Those that are about four pounds for all that, which is not too bad. So I mean, don't get an awful lot from them, but not too bad. And sometimes I think you don't want a lot of one D, especially if you don't like them. <laughs> I would have rather have less on them and more. <laughs> so I have got a thing about washi tape. I should use it more often, really. Right. Okay, and that's a lovely pocket there. Um, do you know what? I'm just... I'm sort of liking what's happening here, if you know what I mean. I'm just going to blend that bit in. Maybe do that and then we'll make something maybe with some of this paper yeah yeah because that's quite a that's all busy isn't it busy 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 <laughs> but i love it well, if it was in the right place i would love it <laughs> even better when it's stitched in because it keeps moving right Okay, yeah, and that, that's that's sort of working actually there. Yep, let's make something. And then here. Hmm. I just like the way that's looking. I don't really want to put anything there, so I'll do something big over there. I'll make sure it fits in the pocket there as well. But when I um put it in, I might do a big, big journaling card yeah let's do that that is too bright isn't it 
sort of actually do you know what i think i'm gonna go for it I'll make something up like that that i'll keep even that looks good see i would never put those together but this is most probably going to go you know do something here with that yeah Definitely. And then that sort of works out that page, doesn't it? I bet I'll be using this all the time. <laughs> I better save a bit, haven't I? <laughs> so, right, okay. Right, back to here. Yep, gonna make something. And making it out of that side. it's is how I've done this page yeah okay I've just done big jumbo tag um may do a bit of stamping not sure I quite like the way it's looking just um yeah no I'm gonna leave it for now okay and that's that which you saw me do this okay and I, I left the this side up so it could go over the pocket like that and just put a little tiny little snippet there because I felt it was a little bit plain there so I think that's fine um, I'm liking this because I don't know whether you can see because it's got like copper and everything on it and it just looks lovely so I think I am going to leave it okay and then we go on to here which, oh, well, looking that tag could be used there, actually. <laughs> That's what I do. I move it. I keep moving the tags, and then it, it sometimes finds it play, its place. Right, okay. It's a, I, I might dot, dot around and, like, go to the back or something like that. That was what I decided there. And then we've got something here that I'm going to do, a similar tag or something. And then maybe something plain inside here. Not sure. But anyway, I'm not ready for that yet over there. So and that's the way that's looking now. I mean, it'll all be straight when it's sewn in. It's just... There we go. This side is a lot heavier than the other side because it hasn't been done. So... All right. And I like this poking through here. So that's where it's out good. Um, I might... What I might do on the back of here, because I see the back is stamp something okay and then just put a bit glossy accents on it or something right because yeah i just feel as they when you see that and it's like the back of it i'm not keen i don't mind the back of the grommets i quite like the way they look but not those i might um like i say stamp it and do something else with that but yeah i'm liking that Okay. Yeah. Long way to go yet. So tomorrow I'm getting on with my other journal. I must do that and then I'll get back to this most probably the next day. It's Monday today. I've got I've already done my try it Tuesday. So you would by the time you see this, you would have seen the try it Tuesday because they were these ones. Yeah. And then that's an offshoot from those. So I'll speak to you all soon. Anyway, bye for now.